Now, Astrid, I would love to have a good look in your studio. So do you think you'd be able to show me some of the features here that you have? Of course. Of course, Mary, come with me. Um, what you see here is basically how we start every term. We've got two different boards where we're suggesting to students, adults or children, um, projects they can work on. This is the what we call the perfecting technique and advanced um, side, where we always uh, mix patterns we've cut ourselves. Right. Um, pattern cutting exercise, we're at the moment looking into the Japanese pattern cutting stuff. You can see my dress is this one. So I always try to also wear That's stuff right. which the, um, the, the students then can make. Yes. Amazing pattern out of one piece of fabric. Cut on sleeves. I find that absolutely so mind that, that is fabric. amazing. So that is one, is one piece of fabric. Yeah, you cut it on the fold. fold. Seam through here. Yep. Cut on the sleeves. Yes. Ruffle it up, and then literally just one centre back seam. And there's no zip. There's, there's no zip. No, because I've used stretchy fabric. You've used the stretch yeah. fabric. That really is amazing. And so that pattern cutting idea we try to bring close to the students that they can then hopefully from that derive their own. Then we always have a few commercial patterns in there because anyone who sews knows that the language and the, the pictures in instructions is like a whole new thing yes. to learn. So we'll try basically our aim is that people who come to Little Hands should learn to be How able to, to read do it the patterns on their own at home. Yes. Um, and then we also got things like if we have a girl with an idea that we then see whether with the child or the young adult, we can transfer that into a project and that then gets the girl's name. Yes. Um, which makes them obviously very proud yes. if, um, if then everyone else is making it. And then if you come over here, this is the easier or we call it simple and satisfying. So it's a mixture of not just dressmaking, but also accessories, projects, um, either for people who just want to do a quick and easy one or for people who are just starting or for younger children. Um, so we, for example, a lot of the adults who just started, started with a little textile container like that. Well, that's lovely. Just made with soft furnishing fabrics. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So easy to do, easy to, to do in the... one session. Oops. Oops. Easy to do in one session to get them to use the machine and, you know, learn all the basics. Yes. So that's um, a great idea. We, we always have a couple of recycling projects in there. For example, that quilt is made out of old t-shirts. Right. And um, again, we have donated uh, uh, t-shirts here, but also the kids bring in their own. They're and, right. and very often it's this, when they've outgrown their t-shirts and they then turn it into a quill, that becomes a very special project for them as well. Or I've got mums who come in with their babies outgrown things and make stuff out of it, which uh, I think is always a really lovely idea. I think that's a lovely way to capture something special uh, because a quilt is an ongoing thing. It's yes. a comfort, yeah. comfort quilt. And if each piece of fabric related to a, yeah. a baby or a child's growth or a teenager with um, their T-shirts that related to a, a special yeah. event in their lives, then they've captured that and, and have the comfort of the ongoing of, of that quilt. I had a so, lady who used her husband's office shirts and made one, and that actually looked really I nice. Bet that which looked I wasn't great. too sure in the beginning, but it turned out really well. Well, shirting is such a good quality mm -hmm. fabric exactly. as well. Yeah. And then what we normally do is each term we have a design competition. Ooh, Last that term good. it was using jeans to transfer into new things. This term it's um, designing with squares and rectangles. Right. Where we have a little bit of inspiration, either a couple of projects we've made or a few books. Uh, but then it's literally the whole process of, you know, just look at a square, see what you can do, manipulate it, go through the whole stage of drawing, designing pattern cutting and then making it. That sounds fabulous. So that's what's that's waiting for us in autumn. Oh, that's waiting. Well, that's great incentive. So they're very lucky students to be able to <laughs> come here at Little Hands and have the opportunity to make some of these wonderful things. All right, things. Astrid, thank you so much for having us here at Little Hands today. We have really enjoyed you welcoming us here and showing us around your gorgeous studio and telling us all about your students that come and the classes that Astrid runs here. Very inspirational. So thank you so much. Pleasure. Thank you, Astrid. And I'm going to give you an invitation. If you're ever coming to Australia, come down to Victoria. 
to Mountaineed where I've got my studio at Rosewood Cottage and you'll be very welcome there. And if you like, you can take one of my classes for me. Absolutely. I will do that. Well, we have a date. <laughs> Thank you very Thank, much. Thank, Thank you, you, Astrid. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.